Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Join me in the living room today as I decorate the living room for spring, adding a few simple and subtle cozy spring touches, going with more of an everyday home decor than a spring slash Easter. I'm going to be restyling my mantle for spring and adding a few other touches here and there. So I can't wait to take you along and show you a few new pieces I grabbed along the way. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. All right, you guys, grab a coffee or a tea, sit back, relax, and let's get to decorating. I'm gonna start off by cleaning my mantle and I just picked up at Target this new Mrs. Meyer seasonal scent in the daisy scent and I'm obsessed with it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this scent too. I love all of their seasonal scents, but this one is really, really pretty. I actually went back and picked up a few more bottles too. We have a wood burning fireplace. So this fireplace screen that I got years ago at Target gets really dusty. So I'm gonna give it a good clean as well. Actually have a wood burning stove tucked in the fireplace insert. That is how it was when we bought the house going on 12 years. So the fireplace screen really helps conceal that. We've thought about converting to gas, but right now this still works. We enjoy having the real wood burning fires, especially in the winter months. On to decorating, so I'm gonna start with these lanterns. They are my favorite. I get asked about them all the time on Instagram too. I got them years ago at Tatter Tulip, which is one of my favorite local shops here in the Buffalo area. Well, I've had them on each side of my fireplace for years. I think that's how I've always put them. Anyways, I decided to move them together like this and I absolutely love the way it looks. And then I'm gonna fill in that little gap with one of these pillows. I love these pillows. They are actually pillow covers that I love to buy on Amazon. So I'll include a link for these striped ones. I love buying pillow covers because it just makes it so easy to change out and they're inexpensive too. On the other side, I'm going to add this basket that I got recently at Home Goods. I love the shape and size of it. And then I'm just going to pop in a white throw blanket that I had and then add some greens in there. These greens are so pretty. I got those at Tatter Tulip as well. And then to balance everything, I'm going to add another one of those throw pillows. Next, I'm gonna add this arch that I got on Amazon and sand it down. There was one at Kirkland's I really wanted, but it was too big for the space, so I found a similar one on Amazon. I'm gonna layer it with this really pretty picture that I found at Hobby Lobby, as well as this corbel. I'll include a link for the arch in the description below. It actually is brown, but I sanded it down because I wanted it to be more of a natural wood color to match everything else in the room. Next, I'm gonna add this hobnail container that I found a few years ago at TJ Maxx and fill it with some greens. These greenery picks came from Tatter Tulip and I only paid $4.95 for each and they are so full and pretty and I love the color and texture. To the other side of the arch, I'm gonna add these new candlesticks that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm also gonna add another one of these hobnail containers and then fill it with some greens. And this is how the mantle turned out and I absolutely love it. area I'm going to style today is this table. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down first and then add this tobacco basket that I got years ago at another local shop. I see tobacco baskets at Hobby Lobby too. In front of the tobacco basket, I'm going to add this vintage crock that I got at a local antique shop and fill it with some more of those greens.
Next, I'm gonna add this candle. It is from Copper Candle Co. It is my absolute favorite candle in the farmhouse scent. It is my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna add that here along with a cute little bird. The next area I'm gonna style is the coffee table. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down first. So I like to use a tray on the coffee table. It makes it really easy to move on and off and I don't have to take off everything that I just decorated. I can just move it with the tray and then put it back when I'm done. I'm gonna add these new candlesticks that I just picked up at Home Goods. I'm also going to add this basket that I found at Home Goods, and I love the shape and size of it. I'm also going to add a set of these carrots from TJ Maxx. I love these carrots. I have several sets of these. I actually have a set in my entryway, and I used a few of them in my dough bowl in my dining room as well. On top of the candlesticks, I'm going to add these flameless candles. I'm really picky about flameless candles, but I found these at Home Goods and I just love them. And they were only $7.99 and they have a timer too. So I love dried florals and I love the dried floral selection at Hobby Lobby. So I picked up a couple of sets to add one of them to this basket. So I'm going to add these floral buttons. They are so pretty and I just love the texture that they're going to add. I love how pretty these look in the basket. Next, I'm going to add some new pillows that I picked up at Target. I'm actually only going to add two pillows to each couch. I just like the simplicity. Maybe I'll add a few more later on, but right now I just like the two on each. On this chair, I'm going to add a striped pillow. Those are one of the pillow covers that I got on Amazon. And I'm also going to add this really pretty blanket that I just picked up at Home Goods. I love the texture, it's perfect for spring. Next, I'm gonna change out the prints in these frames. I love to do this. I've shared this over on my Instagram too. It's such an easy and affordable way to change out your prints seasonally. So I thought these prints were too dark and I found some other prints on Etsy and I'm gonna switch those out. 
Normally when I do this, I have my prints printed at Walgreens. This time I actually had it printed at Office Mix because I wanted a matte print instead because I was actually gonna put it in front of the plexiglass so there would be no glare. And look how pretty this turned out. I love it. It's such an easy and affordable way to switch out your art. This is 16 by 20 and I will include a link for this print on Etsy and the frame from Michaels in the description below. I am using the plexiglass behind the print so I don't have a glare. I always like to save my vacuuming for when I'm done so it picks up any mess that I made. And I love the way the living room looks, just a few little subtle touches to make it fresh, clean, and springy. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. I absolutely love the way the living room turned out. It is fresh and light and springy and is giving me all of those cozy, neutral spring vibes I was looking for. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.